Experience the most challenging race in the world, traveling with the most awarded airline of South America, LAN. The Dakar is getting closer to its end. After seven stages in Chile, the rally will be back in Argentina on Thursday for the last four days. The suspense is at its peak in the car category, as stage 11 has totally changed the race's scenario. Left without true opposition, the Volkswagens keep on fighting with each other. On Tuesday, Carlos Sainz was the winner, therefore he was to leave the bivouac first and discover the track before his opponents. The former WRC pilot was focused, but despite his experience, he was unable to avoid a problem he had not known so far in this 2010 Dakar, a puncture, or actually two. At the 148 km point, his teammate and pursuer Nessa Alatia had already reduced his gap. Five minutes taken, then 5.30 at the 190 km point and five minutes 38 seconds at the finish line. The Spaniard's lead in terms of time difference is twice smaller after this stage, from 10 minutes to 4 minutes and 28 seconds, insufficient to guarantee him a first Dakar success, especially since this Thursday stage will be the longest of this edition. The struggle between the Volkswagen drivers would almost eclipse Galen Schischrit's stage win. The BMW driver did what he does best. He drove fast, very fast, all the way, a demonstration of velocity. He was on the right track, a track that led him to his first stage win in four years. Last time he'd won was in 2006 between Tambacunda and Dakar. In the bike section, the special race of the day was offering the same profile as the day before, fast on sinuous path, mostly on downhill slopes, an ideal terrain for Mark Coma, who was the first to go. The Catalan unfortunately made a navigation mistake, something he's not used to. Going straight ahead was not a good idea at the 13km point. He drove 3 kilometers and realized what was wrong. As a result, he was forced to go back and lost 10 minutes to the race's lead. Consequently, two pilots had the opportunity to shine, John Street and Franz Verhoeven. The first left in ninth and found his way. He had the best provisional time at the first checkpoint, but the latter, Netherlands Verhoeven, proved today that despite his catastrophic start to this 2010 Dakar, he would have been in the top part of the standings. In the end, only three seconds separated them at the arrival, three seconds in the advantage of Verhoeven. It's his third stage win in the Dakar after Puerto Madrid and Copiapo last year. It's also the first stage win for BMW since 2001. At the time, the pilot was Cyril Desprez, whom we could almost have forgotten considering how discreet the Frenchman has been lately. Once again in this 11th stage, he took no risk and finished seventh, keeping intact his one hour and 20 minutes lead on Paul Anders Ulvalsater.